Hi, I'm Worm. Welcome to Worm Studio. Today I'm going to be redrawing this fairy that I drew in 2016, so when I was 14. For this I'm using my A3 Ohu marker paper, which I've already laid out here, and my 48 set of Ohu brush markers that I got for my birthday. And I just started sketching. I wanted to keep the pose even though it is a bit awkward just to have a bit of a better comparison. The way I draw people isn't perfect by any means, but I think I've improved a lot over the past years. I had anatomy lessons in my years at art school where I picked up a thing or two and actually used some guidelines instead of just drawing details right away. Not that this redraw has absolutely no mistakes, but what are the eyes on that old drawing? <laughs> they take up half of her face. But I remember being very proud of that hand on the left, which gave me a lot of trouble this time around, funny enough. Hands, man. <laughs> But I did want to give this newer version a bit of an updated style. I'm not a fan of drawing clothes, so I usually avoid it, but I wanted to keep the essence of the old one, so I opted for thigh highs instead of full-on leggings. I also wasn't sure if I wanted to include those fabric bits hanging from her forearms, but I thought it was a bit too important to just leave out, so I made them bigger to make up for the lack of clothing. I lightly erased the sketch with my kneaded eraser and then went in with some line art. And this is where I realized how strange the hands are. And then I spread the ink everywhere with my hand. I erased the rest of the pencil and started picking out my colors. I wanted her to be a bit more saturated this time around since the old one is just one solid super light color and looked kind of sickly. markers I default to cell shading. I don't blend back and forth like I do with watercolor or colored pencil, I just block in colors and shadows.
I did give her some pink blushy areas though, like her nose, ears, fingertips, and added some pink to the shadows as well to give it some more color variation. In the original, she had more like paper cut out wings. I wanted them to look more solid and not as complicated since the mesh sleeves and long fabric bits are already fighting for attention. This hand just seemed like it was supposed to be holding something or have some sort of magic representation. So I added this like magical power energy swoosh thing coming from her hand. And with that, we're done. Here they are side by side so you can see the difference properly. If you enjoyed hanging out and drawing together, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.